Welcome to the Repair Desk at the Vlognosis Tech Center. Today, I'm going to show you how to repair the rear glass feature on your Google Pixel 2 smartphone. Step 1. Hold your Pixel in your hand, walk out the door, and take it to an authorized Google Repair Center. This is the only way to ensure a perfect repair of the rear glass on your Google Pixel 2. Now, I know you're totally not going to listen to me, and you're going to skip step one. So let's move on to step two. Step two is where you try to fix the phone yourself at home using cheap replacement glass and tools that you found off the internet from China for like five bucks. But you're going to do it anyway, so let's go ahead and show you how that works. As you can see here, the glass on the back of this Pixel 2 is cracked. It's not my fault. I bought this phone secondhand. I got a great deal on it because of this damage. And I thought, hey, I can just replace this glass. Normally on a project like this, you heat the glass up and pry it from the edge until it easily lifts off in one piece. You then replace that broken glass with a brand new piece of glass that you purchased dirt cheap off the internet. As you can see here, I have done just that. I'm going to begin by placing a soft cloth on my workspace as not to damage the front screen of the phone. And here are some of the typical tools that you might use when working on a smartphone. This plastic tool helps you pry glass away from the edges. And if things get a little more stickier, I like to use these micro screwdrivers. And finally, an old rusty trusty heat gun. Now let's go ahead and heat that glass up to loosen the adhesive backing and make it easier to pry away from the body. Okay, it's definitely hot enough. Now let's begin prying. I'll start first with the plastic tool. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try one of my micro screwdrivers. There's just no room here to get any leverage. and I'm damaging the body of the phone itself. This is really not going well so far. Since I can't seem to get a screwdriver in between the glass and the body, let's try this X-Acto knife. I'm able to insert the blade in the opening, but it just isn't strong enough to pry that glass away from the body. Time to get medieval on this bit and shatter this glass piece by piece so I can chip it away. Wow, this is some strong glass. It is not breaking. I'll have to put some more elbow grease into it, I guess. There we go. That did the trick. Okay, it's starting to shatter now. So I can now use one of my screwdrivers to pick away at the shards piece by piece. Uh, this is not going so well. Let me try really cracking this glass and see if I can just get it to shatter into pieces and fall off by itself. Oh, 
Okay, at this point, I'm really starting to get worried that I'm damaging components hidden behind this glass. Now that I've managed to shatter the glass further, let's go ahead and pry little shards away bit by bit. And it appears to be working. Okay, it's gonna take a while, but... What? This glass is so strong, it broke my favorite micro screwdriver. Unbelievable. Okay, let's try a slightly larger diameter screwdriver. Ah, oh, this is like watching grass grow. It's gonna take forever to chip away at all this glass. But at least I'm making progress. As you can see here, it is working. There are some components back there, so I better be careful. And after a longer time period than I had anticipated, I was able to remove all the glass by chipping away at it. And now we can see why it was so difficult to heat and pry that panel off in one piece. There's a bead of high strength adhesive all around this area. And I managed to cut my finger and fray one of my nails. During this chipping away process, I noticed that there were a lot of little glass fragments and dust that got into these areas here. They're very open and vulnerable to that type of thing. I won't know, I guess, for a while if uh, that causes any problems. Okay, as you can see here, I've removed all of the adhesive that bead that was around this whole area I managed to remove by attacking it with a fingernail. Be careful around this area here. There's some sort of connector there and it could easily be damaged with a sharp tool. Also, as it turns out, the camera lens does not simply come off. It appears to be integrated into the camera unit itself. I didn't know this, and while I was chipping away, I managed to scrape the trim ring around the glass lens. So keep in mind, while you're scraping and prying, do your best to stay as far away from the camera as you can. There's just simply no way to replace this that I can see. And I'm not going to get into disassembling the electronics. Also, it's really easy to get some of that glass dust down into these areas around here. Make sure you have some compressed air to blow these areas out, just in case that debris interferes with the operation of the camera. Now, let's put the new glass panel onto the Pixel 2's body. It looks like you can just peel this backing off. Yes, okay. And then I can see here that we have some adhesive on there, ready to go. So let's go ahead and apply the new glass. Actually, it looks like there's no adhesive around the camera and flash areas, like there was from the factory. This is disappointing. It makes me wonder if those components are going to be flopping around, if dust is going to be able to get in there. We shall find out. Let me just apply some pressure to make sure that adhesive uh, adheres. And there we go. Wow, that looks really nice. except that camera trim ring. You can see where I nicked it. I'm just wondering if the lack of that adhesive bead is going to do any harm in the long run, but I guess we can only find out by trial and error. And unfortunately, you can see some of the nicks around the body where I first attempted to pry it loose. Learn from my mistakes.
Behold the beauty of a Panda Pixel 2, black and white. Oh, and don't worry about finding all of the little glass shards all over your work area. You will eventually find them when you're walking around and they dig into your bare feet. Man, I'm glad that's over with. The repair process for the rear glass on the Google Pixel 2 it has to be about the worst procedure I've ever done on a smartphone to this day. But like I said in the beginning, step one, take your phone to an authorized Google repair center. You'll walk away from the experience feeling so much better. You'll have a lot less cuts on your hands, less shards of glass in your eyes. And months from now, you won't be randomly stepping on little pieces of glass with your bare feet. So there you have it. Learn through my mistakes. All right, that wraps up today's vlog. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel because nobody else is going to. And I look forward to hearing from you down in the comments section. Thanks for watching.